Thank you, thank you. Hi, um, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to thank um, uh, the forum inviting me to uh, do the presentation. Um, I'm from the uh, Hong Kong Institute of Social Impact Analysts. Uh, we are uh, promoting social impact assessment for uh, all kinds of organization, uh, nonprofit, social enterprise, corporations, government, and uh, um, uh, to help them to uh, better uh, understand the social value they create. And um, I'm also a board member of Social Value International, which is a global body uh, promoting um, social impact measurement. Uh, around the world. And um, uh, to, well, working together with Social Value International, we are uh, trying to uh, help various um, organizations to better measure their social impact. Um, so, um, uh, social impact assessment is on the rise. So, it's, um, uh, under the uh, global umbrella of Social Value International, um, uh, there are lots of, lots of local chapters setting up to um, do the work to promote social impact. And in East Asia, uh, these are the uh, locations where a local chapter has been uh, developed, including Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, Indonesia, Thailand, and um, Taiwan. Um, so to, I'm, uh, in addition to uh, being the executive director of um, the Hong Kong Institute, I'm also a board member of Social Wealth International. So um, today, I will share uh, some information about the, what, the work that we did globally to promote um, social impact measurement in the corporate sector. Uh, the topic I'm going to discuss today is um, the, uh, what we call the uh, uh, um, uh, total impact valuation. So um, uh, it is actually to, uh, uh, we are talking about the corporate sustainability reporting. And um, overall, uh, we see that there are three approaches to conduct corporate social uh, sustainability reporting. Uh, one is the, um, uh, one is the uh, issue base. So it's, um, uh, if you do something like the Global Reporting Initiative, the GRI, uh, normally, you identify certain issues, and then um, you will um, quantify or even monetize those uh, impact, and then report those issues in your um, sustainability report. Uh, the second approach would be the index or scoring system, uh, in which, uh, like uh, the say, if you know about the uh, B Corp, you, know, you will do the B impact assessment, and then you will do um, the B. Uh, uh, you will have a B B Corp score. And in another example would be the Dow Jones Sustainability uh, Index. And then um, for the uh, most advanced approach, uh, it is what we call the integrated approach, um, which in which uh, we will try to um, uh, do the what we call the integrated social environmental p and l and um, and for the big four or the firm, they also have different approaches to do the uh, integrated PL. Like in KPMG, they have the true value approach. And in PWC, they have the uh, uh, team approach, the total impact measurement and management approach. And for our global network, the Social Value International, we are promoting the SROI approach, which is the social return on investment. So these are the, the most, um, I would say, the most advanced approach in which we will integrate all the ESG uh, factors into your PNL, and um, so um, uh, while we see that these are the common approaches used in the corporate sustainability reporting, uh, increasingly we find that um, the movement is towards uh, outcome measurement, and uh, this is what we the, the the theme I want to talk today to how we are moving to total impact valuation in the corporate sustainability reporting. Okay, so um, uh, according to our conference board uh, 2018 report, uh, total impact, uh, the definition of total impact valuation, it is a practice of quantifying and monetizing a company's economic, social, and environmental impacts, which could help uh, organizations better understand the full extent of their impact on society 
So right now, um, for uh, lots of uh, multinational corporations and uh, the listed company, they use the financial accounts to report their performance. And then separately, they would do their sustainability report, or maybe in their annual report, they would mention about their ESG performance, but they're not in, uh, fully integrated into their financial accounts. Uh, but for, uh, uh, for total impact valuation, it is a movement to uh, quantify and monetize um, the performance and then integrate with the financial accounts. So um, uh, therefore, uh, the total impact valuation offers a way to guide uh, management decisions by identifying where the, fo uh, where the, the for management uh, to focus their effort on improving social value creation. Uh, for example, they can set up a ESG investment appraisal system, uh, set up a ESG investment budget every, ye every year, and then um, uh, they can uh, monitor their social uh, impact performance using their appraisal system. So um, according to the uh, conference board uh, report in 2018, uh, they, they still consider total impact valuation uh, is in the early uh, embryonic stage. Uh, we know that um, actually there are hundreds of uh, multinational corporations began to experiment uh, what are the good way to do the uh, integrated impact measurement, but only very few of them will, uh, will, will publish and disclose their uh, findings. And then the standardization is still lacking. And so um, even though there are strong push from uh, regulators, uh, we still don't see a lot of the integrated reports uh, uh, as, as of now. Um, however, uh, increasingly, so we see that there, there will be changes. So uh, uh, there's, we, we expect there will be a lot of uh, new developments and there could be uh, uh, sea changes in the coming years. So uh, there will be convergence. So we, we expect there to be a standardization that could lead to uh, 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 scalability. And then um, the movement to do integrated accounts is not just for uh, external disclosure. It's actually uh, serving both the purposes of uh, to prove your performance and actually to help uh, uh, to do internal business steering so that you, uh, all corporation can improve their ESG performance over time. Um, so to, what, what are the driving force to, to, uh, that uh, help um, all this cooperation to uh, do uh, total impact uh, management? And uh, one of the most important uh, driver would be the uh, impact management project. Um, so if you Google impact management project, you'll find um, the website. Uh, uh, and the project is a forum for building global consensus on how to measure and manage impact. So uh, in different sectors, people talk about social impact measurement in social sectors, in government sector, in corporate sector. And um, for investors, they have some way to do impact measurement and for operators, they also use some other methods. So the impact management project has been uh, uh, started a few years ago to try to come up with a global consensus. And, um, an impact, a very important platform built by the uh, Impact Management Project, the IMP, is the uh, Impact uh, Structure uh, Network. So uh, what is the uh, IMP uh, Structure Network? It is a platform uh, that has uh, 16 members and all of the members are the, are the important players. Some of them are investors, some of them are regulators, some of them are professional bodies, and some of them are UN agencies. And so um, uh, these are the 16 organizations. And um, the, the full list is right here. Okay, the 16 organization. And um, so you see um, there are uh, uh, organizations like the OECD, like the B Lab, which promote the B Corp. And then you see uh, we, the, uh, the, the, the last four items, three of them are, are actually UN agencies. They are the UNDP, the UN Global Compact, and the UN Environmental Program Finance Initiative. 
Uh, our global network, Social Welfare International, is also one of the member of these uh, 14 network members. And uh, in, in the, in the uh, remaining of this, pre this presentation, uh, I will actually talk about uh, what are the uh, uh, projects and in initiatives undertaken by this organization to try to help uh, develop uh, the uh, impact standard for, uh, corp for the corporate sector to do their corp uh, corporate sustainability reporting. Okay, um, let's talk about the OECD uh, Integrated PNL Initiative. Um, so, um, the OECD uh, actually uh, work with a lot of uh, multinational corporations. Uh, so, to, um, uh, they want to assist the multinational corporation to further expand their financial reporting to include uh, all the ESG activities. So, to, um, uh, act, act, OECD is actually uh, partnering with uh, one of the largest uh, multinational corporations, the chemical uh, company BASF, and um, uh, they're doing uh, this alliance that involves um, uh, 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 a, a good number of multinational corporations, and then with the assistance of the all the big four or the firm, and also some other uh, funder. They're trying to uh, standardize the model to do uh, corporate sustainability uh, reporting. And then uh, they will try to align the uh, uh, disclosure requirement. And so it's, um, the OECD project, it is um, working from the perspective of the corporate, corporate sector to develop the common practices. And um, here are some examples of the corporations doing their uh, integrated reporting. This is BASF. So here you can see um, they have uh, not only uh, they will report their own uh, ESG performance. The middle diagram is middle column is the performance of the company, but uh, they will actually work through the whole uh, value chain. They will go to their customer market, customer industry. So how their customers would uh, create or destroy value. They would uh, do the assessment. And then they will go back to the uh, uh, supply chain as well. So um, they, all, they will see uh, how the supply chain will perform in relation to ESG um, activities. Another example is, um, is Curring. Curring um, is a, a, a big brand label selling a, a lot of uh, luxurious uh, goods. And um, so they are very concerned about their supply chain performance. So in this uh, total impact uh, accounts, they actually trace um, the impact, the environmental impact of the activities, not to one level, but they would go to four tiers of their supply chain to see how they perform in relation to say to water, water use and, um, and different aspects of the environmental performance. So we, we see uh, two examples uh, from uh, multinational corporations. Uh, some examples from Asia, this is from Taiwan, a semiconductor company. So they also use uh, this method, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Pricewaterhouse uh, team methodology to uh, monetize, to quantify and monetize their social impact. And then they would tie the social impact to the different SDGs here. So it's, um, not only the multinational corporation, but also to some, some, some listed companies in Asia has begun to uh, do the uh, total impact uh, measurement. Another example from Taiwan, um, and uh, you see they, they, they would do it um, not just for one year, uh, they do it year after year so that they could track the performance uh, year after year to continue to drive uh, improvement. And um, uh, we had quite a good development say in, 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 in markets like Taiwan, in Taiwan uh, uh, since 2017, you see there are quite a lot of uh, listed companies from three sectors like banking and finance, the semiconductor industry, and the electronics and communication. They had done the uh, integrated p &L, and then they had uh, disclosed those information in their accounts. Okay, um, so um, the OECD uh, three-year project is to work with the corporations to try to experiment the new method to quantify and monetize the uh, SEG uh, performance. And um, uh, 
for in, uh, among the uh, 16 network members of the IMP structure network, uh, five of them are actually uh, corporate sector reporting standard setters. They include the CDP, the Carbon uh, Disclosure Project, um, and then the uh, Climate uh, Disclosure uh, Standards Board, and then you know uh, the GRI, the Global Reporting Initiative, and the uh, Integrated Reporting uh, uh, Standard Board, and also the SASB, the, uh, the Sustainability uh, Standard Board. So um, all these standard setters have right now have their own standards advising uh, corporation how they should do their reporting. Uh, and um, very recently, just last year, these five organizations uh, signed a memorandum of understanding. They signed an MOU. To, uh, it's a statement of intent to work together to, uh, towards developing a comprehensive corporate reporting. So all these uh, standard setters, uh, right now many corporations follow their standards, but uh, many corporations will find that um, but there are too many standards for them to work, uh, to make reference to. And so um, uh, these five standards that has came together and then um, uh, in the MOU, they talk about, um, they want to work with this collaboration and their intent is to provide a joint market, uh, joint market, market guidance. And then they would like to provide a joint vision for the corporation, the corporate world with the aim to complement the financial uh, uh, accounting reporting. Uh, and uh, finally, they, it is a joint commitment of this organization to develop a more coherent, uh, comprehensive uh, corporate reporting uh, system. So what they're doing now actually is to expand the scope of reporting. Uh, right now, uh, if you see this diagram, uh, the small rectangle here is what we do in financial accounting. So the listed company, the multinational corporation, they publish the, the annual reports, actually report the financial value, financial performance of the corporation. And um, moving from the small uh, rectangle to the large, the second tier, larger one, we are to capture the external uh, ESG matters, the ex so-called externalities. And uh, we would like to capture the value create or destroy by the corporations and uh, we, uh, the second tier is to reflect the value of those activities to the enterprise. So it is a second tier. And ultimately we want to capture more, more than value to the enterprise, but value to the community. So the, the, the biggest rectangle here uh, uh, is to uh, help corporation to move from the existing reporting of financial performance to uh, reporting of value of uh, ESG to the enterprise and ultimately to report the total value uh, to the enterprise plus to the community. So it's a very ambitious project and we need to have one set of standardized system to do that. And so the five uh, standard setters actually work together to try to come up with the standard. Okay, um, another development from um, the IMP network so it's, um, uh, I mentioned earlier, one of the member is the uh, UNDP, the United Nations Development uh, Program. The UNDP actually is in the process of uh, developing uh, three sets of standards. So it is, uh, right now it's a, a public consultation period. So it's, uh, I encourage all of you to check their website and then you can offer your comment on the standard. Of the three standards, uh, they have the, uh, say, the standard for the private equity funds and standard for SDG bonds. And the last one is actually related to the uh, corporate sector. It is the impact standard for uh, enterprises. And um, so uh, right now, uh, all corporations want to report uh, their performance in helping to achieve the SDGs. And we don't have a, a good standard uh, for the uh, corporation to uh, report their performance. So UNDG, uh, UNDP, in, uh, working with some, co uh, some uh, uh, consultant firms, they developed the SDG impact standards for uh, enterprises. And um, in the future, uh, they would like to uh, uh, train up um, all their UNDP local offices, and then they work with the local uh, service operators and corporations to help the corporations to 
uh, to, 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 to capture and to report their performance in relation to SDG matters and in relation to the achievements of the uh, SDG. So, um, so we see development from the corporations and then we see development from the standard setters. And in here, we see the uh, uh, well, uh, uh, complementary development from uh, one of the uh, uh, UN agencies to facilitate uh, operators and corporations to, um, to, to, to report their performance in relation to um, the uh, SDG ach achievement. So this is the framework uh, uh, provided by the consultation document. Uh, so um, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you can go to their website and check the details of the draft standard and you can offer your comment to them. Okay, um, so I, I, I very quickly uh, mentioned about um, uh, uh, some of the members of the IMP Structure Network, how they uh, 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 initiated uh, projects to promote uh, uh, corporate sustainability reporting. And so to, um, uh, finally, I shall uh, also discuss uh, what we do at Social Valley International uh, to, you know, to, to, to offer our effort to uh, drive the change. So number one, uh, we work with the UNDP. I just mentioned UNDP, they, they developed the impact standards. And um, so we had discussion with the UNDP and uh, uh, we envisioned that uh, when more and more corporations began to report the SDG performance, we need a local uh, independent assessor to do the uh, independent assurance on those uh, uh, impact, SDG impact report. So uh, uh, we can't just rely on the existing uh, practitioners. We need to train up uh, the professional to do the independent asse assessment. So uh, we are uh, the Social Valley International, uh, which has the experience on doing uh, uh, assurance work. We work with UNDP to train up the local uh, assessor in various places so that the local uh, uh, professional bodies can, uh, professional groups, the practitioners can work with UNDP to, and then to support the corporations in various country to do uh, SDG re reporting. So this is uh, one, uh, one of the work uh, uh, we are going to do. So in the future, um, the, the SDG impact standard, they will offer something called the SDG impact seal and the corporation can apply for the impact seal and they need to uh, ask for independent assessors to assess, to assess, uh, to assess their uh, SDG reports. And uh, so um, the local assessor will be trained by UNDP in, in collaboration with uh, Social Value International. That's uh, one of the work we're gonna do. Another work is to continue to build up new knowledge. So one of the work we do is, um, as an example, uh, to let you know, uh, we are working with, um, we are, uh, uh, there's an initiative uh, at Harvard Business School called the Initiative on Impact Weighted Accounts. So it is from, uh, from the academia. They're also trying to find a way to help corporations to uh, do ESG uh, integrated reporting. And so it's, um, uh, we, are, uh, we are in constant dis discussion with um, these uh, efforts to develop the, the, the body of knowledge to do it, um, uh, impact assessment for corporations. And then of course, one of the work, uh, the network we, we do is to, to do training. So it's, um, uh, this is an example of our training uh, that uh, we in Hong Kong, we work with um, the, uh, our UK office, Social Value International, Social Value UK, and develop uh, this accreditation training program called the Impact Management for Business Training Program. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, we will uh, offer this training course uh, in the Asian region for all the corporate sector people who are interested to continue to enhance their uh, ESG reporting and ESG uh, impact uh, management. So um, uh, these are the work uh, at Social World International. We, we collaborate with um, all the other uh, network members to uh, promote uh, ESG reporting. So uh, as a summary here, so it's, um, it's the final slide. Uh, 
we see that um, um, there are uh, uh, changes going on. Um, right now, we do sustainability reporting. Uh, many corporations will use, issue their sustainability report alongside their annual uh, listed accounts. But um, the future trend is to move uh, towards uh, integrative reporting. So total impact valuation, the uh, quantification and monetization of uh, ESG impact performance would be a trend. Uh, we see that happening uh, with the uh, conference board report and with the OECD project. And um, not only the uh, corporation uh, 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 took the move to make the change, uh, we see there would be convergence and integration of standards and practices. And so the most important development is the MOU signed by the five public sector standard setting bodies. So it's, um, uh, when the five uh, standard setters came up with a unified framework, that would be the time to consult with the corporate sector and see if it is feasible for the corporate sector to follow to the new standard to do their uh, corporate uh, sustainability reporting. And then uh, uh, it is not good enough to just um, publish those reports. We need to find a way to do uh, independent assurance of those uh, impact reports. So uh, uh, we see um, uh, the UNDP already said, already uh, proposed to have the SDG impact uh, standard developed. And then um, uh, uh, Social Welfare International is, act, uh, is helping, is working with them to try to come up with a system uh, to do the independent accreditation and assurance. The, uh, the, the assurance system actually has been put in place, but uh, we need to train up the uh, practitioners to not learn about how to do the impact, uh, independent ass assessment. And uh, finally, um, given all the uh, developments, uh, there's a, a, a need for professional development and for professional advancement to catch up with all this development. So we see, um, we need to train up more social value practitioners to help uh, corporations to set up their ESG uh, investment appraisal system uh, to help them monitor their impact performance. And then so we also need to train up the third party independent assessors to offer the assurance services. So, um, uh, so we expect there will be sea change in the corporate uh, sustainability reporting uh, in the coming years. And, um, and we need all the support of the investors, of the corporate sector uh, executive, and um, the professional sector, the audit professionals, the accounting professionals. And so um, uh, 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 we, we hope that this trend will continue to, you know, to uh, po uh, prosper and um, we'll, we'll, we'll have uh, uh, better and um, information produced by the corporations and, um, uh, in, uh, and uh, uh, the investors, the corporate executive and uh, government can make better decisions in relation to ESG uh, development in future. So I um, uh, my, uh, end my presentation here and thank you for your uh, patience to join this presentation. Thank you.